Okay, just a real quick uh, answer to uh, random Smack 12's question. Oh, what if, for example, I have the numbers the square root of 13, 10, 12? How do I solve that? Do I find the square root then solve? In fact, uh, you do not need to find the square root. We see here I have the problem right now. Determine if the square root of 13, 10, and 12 make a right triangle. Well, we're going to use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem to do that. And uh, simply, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. The number you put in for c squared is going to be the longest side. The hypotenuse of a right triangle is always the longest side of the three numbers. That would be the 12. So what we're going to do is replace these, a, b, and c, with the square root of 13, 10, and 12, and then solve remembering to put 12 in for the longest number. So that would be 12 squared. It really doesn't matter what goes where, the 10 or the square root of 13 in either one of those. So we end up with the square root of 13 squared plus 10 squared is equal to 12 squared, and then we evaluate. Uh, to evaluate, a pretty simple process, what you need to realize is that the square root of, or yeah, the square root of 13 squared actually just gives us 13. The then that would give us plus 10 squared, which is 100, and that was it's supposed to be equal to 12 squared, which is 144. As we simplify that, 13 plus 100 gives us 113, and that's supposed to be equal to 144, but it is not. Therefore, these measures do not make a right triangle. A random smack 12, I sure hope this has helped you out.